Hi, the Apple device here, and today I'll be showing you how to do tethering from your iPhone to your computer without an internet plan. And this only applies for T-Mobile users because all AT&T users need to have internet. Need to have an internet plan or data plan, whatever people call that. Okay, so I'll just first review a couple things with you. So you go to general, go to settings, general, network. Then there will be a download you download to fix internet tethering. If you, if you turn it on and click USB only, and when you're plugged into the computer, it doesn't give you this blue bar up there, then you will need to download Tether Me Insidia. I'll, I'll show you guys in a little bit. And then if you don't have this cellular data network, if you don't have that bar right there, you'll have to go and download Supreme Preferences Insidia. Okay, and then, so go to Cydia, and I'm not connected to the internet right now myself to demonstrate that this is doing tethering. I'll go manage, sources, and then go edit, add, and what you want to type in in this field for add is this source right here. Cydia.xlease.com, and then you want to type in repo. No, you, not repo. You want to type in ihacksrepo.com. I'll say it again. ihacksrepo.com. Go ahead, click on that repo. And then for tethering, go to the T section. And right there, tether me. Click that. And then install it. Tether me. Once you've installed tether me, you can go ahead and go into um, XLE's repo. And go under the, the T section. And then it'll be. Not T, sorry, S section. It's S U P, so right there. Supreme Preferences. Hit that, install it. That will install Winterboard too, so if you don't have Winterboard, that'll reboot your phone too. Okay, once you've installed that, go ahead. Supreme Preferences, it's, um, Supreme Preferences gives you that, um, network data. That, it gives you the cellular data bar. Okay, to activate Supreme Preferences, go ahead, go into Winterboard. Then go to s Select Theme. And then right on top, select winner, select Supreme Preferences 3.0. It says 3.0, but it works for 4.0 too. Okay, once you've selected that, and it's resprung, go ahead into Settings. And then go to Supreme Preferences, Applications, Phone, and then just turn on Cellular Data Editing. Make sure that's on. If that's on, mine is on because I have it. Yours will be off if you don't have it. Make sure it's on and then you're ready to go. With that, then go to General Network. And then Tether Me. Once you download Tether Me, you're, you're good to go. You don't need to do nothing with that. But um, for cellular, cellular Data Network, hit that. And then you're going to need to type in wap.voicestream.com, the top field. And then for the bottom field, wap.voicestream.com. And then you'll be ready to go. Make sure your iPhone is plugged in via USB into the computer. And then I'll first demonstrate on my iPhone that I do not have no internet on my iPhone. No edge or nothing. There's no fishy business going around. So this is legit. Okay. And then on my... On my computer, I'll go ahead and click. Um, I'll click Google Chrome, okay. And then the website that I'll be going to, I'll click on it. Nothing. Okay. So then I'll just do my camera. There it goes. Okay. Focus in for you guys. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so. 
on your iPhone, what you want to do is go into settings and get to this page right here. To do so, you go into general network, get to this page, go ahead, hit internet tethering, then click on. Click USB, wait for it. You can hear the computer do the ding. Then there's a white bar on top. Now it's ready to go from your computer from your iPhone side. You can just set your iPhone aside. Then on the computer, I'll go ahead, click that website again. And there you go, it's loaded. So now I'll just go ahead, type in my email address. And then I'll just move it aside for my password. Okay, log me in. There you go, I'm logged in. And now I am ready to go. By the way, real quick, this website that, that you have to go to is um this this link right here. It's um I'll highlight the parts that it is. Right there. Go freemobile.com slash tether slash T Mobile. That's the website. I'll have it in the link's description. Once you sign in, that index.php will will add on on the end of it. So um that's the website you go to go to. Once you go there, sign up. You get a free trial. I'll have I'll have that website down below. You'll get a free trial. Um, once you get that free trial, it, it's like it's it's like it's really cheap. Free free trial that like a week or so, and then it's like three bucks to actually activate it for a full account. So now I'll just go down to Google. Search. Okay. Let it load. There you go. Google. Now I'll um, go ahead and type in iPhone. There you go. It works fine. This is how you get tethering working on the iPhone. Down below, I'll have a video on how to get um, internet on your iPhone without a data plan. How to get free internet on your iPhone without a data plane. I'll have a video on that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how you tether. I'll have a video down below to, to get free internet on your iPhone. Not tethering, uh, actually on your iPhone. And then um, rate, comment, subscribe. So um, I can spread the word. Every subscriber counts. So if, if you're thinking now just, you know, not subscribe. Dude, subscribe. And then um, go ahead and follow me on Twitter because... I don't got lots of Twitter followers. I'm looking to get more. I have 54 right now. Um, just follow me on Twitter for the latest information and stuff. Okay, thank you, and have a good, awesome day.